in this session we are going to work on user login we have already registered one user and also we have written the entire logic of that now what we are going to do using that credentials we are going to log into a website and here we are going to check for some conditions if we are having some items in the cart then we should be redirected to payment option or else we should be redirected to profile page of the user okay first we are going to work on this user login we are going to verify this credentials username and password then we are going to check for all those conditions now inside user login dot php here we have already created the form we have this entire thing and for this button we have given the name as user login now below this i am just going to write here php code before writing inside form we just have to write this action is equal to empty because i am going to write php code in the same file method is equal to post any type if you want you can give or else you can remove this one because we are not going to insert any image or we are not going to access any image so you don't have to write that one now below this i am just going to check for the condition if this button is clicked only then i have to perform all these actions i'll be writing if is set and inside this first i am just going to write post method because using post i am just going to access all the data here i'll be passing that value okay this is how we are going to pass i'll just open this curly braces inside this first i have to access this username and then i have to access this password once i get this value then i have to compare with the value whatever is available inside the database so first i'm just going to access this username i'll copy this user username here i'm just going to create one variable i'll be writing user username is equal to post method and inside this i'm just going to pass this value okay this whatever i am passing here that should be exactly matching with this one okay this is the variable name whatever you want you can give for this then below this i'm just going to copy this user password here i'll paste and also here i'm going to paste now using this what i have accessed whatever value i am entering here i'm just copying this one and storing inside this one okay i'm just accessing from here i'm storing inside this variables i'll just write here post now here i am having different colors for the brackets let me just check whether i'm getting the output or not i'll just write here echo i'll be writing user password i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here let me just write some data okay i'm going to remove this horizontal scroll bar now when i click on login okay whatever data i have entered inside the password that has been printed here you can see that has been displayed so it is working completely fine you don't have to worry if the color is different but i'm getting the result now what i'm going to do first i'm just going to remove this horizontal scroll bar because it is disturbing me a lot now here inside this below this bootstrap css link i'll be writing internal style sheet and for this entire body i'll be writing here body and here i'm just going to write overflow overflow on x axis i just want to hide i'll be writing here hidden i'll just change the spelling overflow x that should be hidden as soon as i give this one this whatever horizontal scroll bar you can see that will go i'll refresh this continue you can see that horizontal scroll bar has gone now if i just click here you can see it's working completely fine now if i refresh this one now everything is working fine now i have accessed these two values i have stored inside this separate variables now if you notice here we have done password hashing and we have not stored whatever password we have entered that password we have not stored inside the database we have hashed that password and that hash we have stored inside the database now to verify that one we are having one method in php that is password verify using that password verify method we are going to verify a password now first i'm just going to write this sql query i'll be writing here select query whatever variable name you want you can give and inside this i'm just going to write here let me just write here double quotes now using this query i am selecting all the data from the user table but i don't need this one only whatever credentials i am going to enter only that data it should be matching so here i am just going to write where whatever column name i have given for the user name inside user table whatever column name okay let me just show you now suppose in future i am having multiple users i don't want to select all the users only whatever credentials i am going to enter here only that data should be matched with this one so i'm just going to access this username field 
whatever name I have given here, I should be writing the exact thing here. I will be writing where user name is equal to whatever data I am going to enter inside the input field. I will just paste that one. Now here I am just going to enter Khanam. I will just enter Khanam. Inside database also I am having Khanam. So it is going to check only for this one. Okay, if I enter Seema here, inside this database I am not having Seema. So I should be getting invalid credentials. Okay, this is the first condition we are just checking for the username and we are just going to access that fields. Now once I get this one, which means this data is present inside the database. So first I have to execute this query. Below this I am just going to write this one. I will just write a result. Here I will be writing my SQL I query. Inside this I am just going to pass this connection variable and also I am just going to pass this select query variable. Then later on once I execute this one, I have to count how many rows I got as my result. So for that below this I am just going to write here row count. Using this my SQL I num rows. I should be getting the number of rows and inside this I just have to pass this result variable. Whatever output I got from here, I am just executing this one and after that I am just counting how many rows I got. If row count is greater than 0, which means the user is present inside the database. Now what I am going to do, below this I am just going to check for the condition. If my row count, if it is greater than 0, this user is present inside the database. Else. If I am getting less than 0, then this data is not present inside the database. So I should be displaying this message echo and here I will be writing script tag and here I am just going to close the script tag and inside this I am just going to write here alert. I will just write here invalid credentials. Invalid credentials. I will just close this one and I am just going to wrap inside single quotes because I have already used here double quotes. I am just wrapping inside single quotes. Okay, if this is greater than 0, then this user is present inside the database, else this user is not present and I should be getting this message invalid credentials. Now, once I access the username, now I have to check for the password. As I told you, we have hashed the password. So, to verify that one, we are having password verify method. Now below this, below this one, I am just going to check for this one. If using this password verify, you can see we are having this method in PHP. Using this password verify, we are going to verify the password. Whatever I enter here, that should be matching with this one. Okay, first it is going to make hash of this and this hash and this hash will be matched. And then later on, it is going to verify this one. And this is going to take two parameters. First is the password, whatever we are entering inside the input field, we just have to pass that one. And second is the password, what we have fetched from the database. Okay, from this database, we have to fetch this password and then we have to verify that one. Now, I have to fetch whatever password I am having inside the database, that password I have to fetch here. So, first I am just going to write here row data, I will just create one variable row data and inside this using this mysqli fetch asoc i can fetch the data present inside the database and here i am just going to pass this result variable i'll copy this and here i am just going to pass okay using this i can fetch the data from the database and here i have written this where clause which means it is going to select only one row data so i don't have to wrap inside while loop i can just write this one time if I write this one time, then it is going to fetch whatever data I am having inside the database, only the first record it is going to fetch. Now here I have to fetch the data, so I am just going to copy this variable, here I will be pasting that one and inside this I just have to pass this column name, Okay, that is user password. This exactly whatever we are having here, this should be exactly matching with this one, whatever I am writing here. As of now, you should be very familiar with these patterns. Okay, this is how we are going to write this one. We are first, we are just checking if this username is present inside the database or not. If this is present, then we are just checking for the condition. If I am getting row count is greater than 0, then this user is present inside the database. Once I get the user, then I should be checking for the password. And inside this, okay, if the password is not getting matched, then here also I should be writing else. Let me just write here curly braces. Inside this also I should be printing the same message. I will paste that one. Okay, that is invalid credentials. 
if username is not getting matched then i should be getting this invalid credentials if username and passwords are not getting matched then also i should be getting this invalid credentials now once it is done okay if this is true and this is true then i should be getting the message logged in successful i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste and instead of this i'll just write here login successful i'll just remove this one login successful or you have logged in successfully okay whatever message you want you can give now i'll come here i'll refresh this one now inside the database i'm having khanam password i'll just give 1234 login you can see login successful because whatever password i have given here that is 1234 and that 1234 is been hashed now using this password verify first i'm going to enter this 1234 from database it is going to fetch the hash password it is going to match with this one okay this hash and this hash will be matched and i will be getting this login successful now if i just give here some random data you can see this user is not present password i'll give 1234 i'll click on login invalid credentials now i am going to give username as khanam password i'll just give some random data you can see the password length is very large my password is 1234 but this username is present inside the database now when i click on login again i will be getting invalid credentials now if i enter both the things if i enter wrong i'll click on login invalid credentials okay now everything is working fine okay this condition is working this condition is working and also this condition is working we are done with this login now we are having some conditions whenever user is getting logged in again the user should not be redirected to same page okay the user should be moved to index page or profile page okay next we are going to work on that condition if the user is having some items in the cart then user should be redirected to payment page or else the user should be redirected to profile page where the user can see all the details whatever orders he has done everything user can see we are done with this basic logic of login next we are going to work on the conditions